Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now going to be answering questions from this Mechanics M1 International A Level Edexcel paper from June 2022. And I'm going to be answering the questions one by one, separate video for each question, saved in two playlists one playlist for this paper, another playlist for the topic that that particular question is from. I'm not going to just be a talking mark scheme, I'm going to go through the questions. Um, in some detail where necessary in especially topics where I find my students need some extra kind of explanation or if I find a comment in the uh, comment section about some videos I've made before and I want to elaborate on certain points that uh, I think uh, need elaborating on sometimes I might go into some detail so I'm not here just to read out the answers or to just write down the answers I'm here to explain and that's the reason why I make these videos so um, if you're looking for a talking mark scheme, this might not be the right place for you. So let's start with question number one. Now, question number one is a typical question one from mechanics, which is about momentum and impulse. All right, so two particles, P and Q, are moving towards each other in opposite directions along the same straight line when they collide directly. Immediately before the collision, the speed of Q is 2U, the mass of Q is 3M, and the magnitude of the impulse exerted by P on Q in the collision is 4MU. Find part A, the speed of Q immediately after the collision. So always, always draw clear diagrams to show what's going on. So I'm going to draw a diagram with two ball shapes, one for P, one for Q. So this is P and this is Q. Now, they've told us that the speed of Q before the collision, so I'm going to put here before, on top I'll write the situation before, and um, underneath I'll write the situation after. So before the collision, the speed of Q is 2U, so it's moving towards P in this direction, and this is the magnitude, this is its speed. The mass of Q is 3M, so this is 3M. And the magnitude of the impulse exerted by P on Q in the collision is 4MU. So the, the impulse exerted by P on Q, of course, will act in this direction. And its magnitude is 4MU. All right, so those are the pieces of information we have. We don't have any other information. I don't know the mass of P, the speed of P before or after. Um, so in this particular question, I'm not going to be able to use the principle of the conservation of momentum in terms of the momentum before equals the momentum after, even though we know it does, but we don't have enough information to use that principle to solve this question. We have to or are forced to use the principle of um, the impulse being equal to the change in momentum of an object for us to be able to solve this. So we can say here that the impulse exerted on Q, I'll call that IQ, is equal to the mass of Q times the velocity, final velocity of Q minus the original velocity of Q. So the impulse exerted on Q. Now I've got to decide what I'm going to take as positive. I'm going to take the right side as positive in this for my calculation purposes. Not for writing my final answer, but for my calculation purposes. Very important for us to understand that. Okay, so the, the impulse exerted is going to act in the direction um, that, you know, changes the motion of Q, so it's going to act towards the right, which we call positive in our diagram. So this is 4MU, and the mass of Q we know is 3M, and the final velocity of Q we don't know, we have to find that, and the initial velocity of Q, well, that's going towards the left in our diagram, so that's going to be a negative to U. Very important for us to realize that we've chosen that direction of positive, that means this is negative. Okay, if we chose in the other direction of positive, this would be positive and that would be negative and we'd get the same answer in the end. All right, so IQ is equal to 4MU equals, now the mass of Q is 3M and the velocity of Q is what we have to find, the final velocity, minus the initial velocity, so it's minus, be careful here of these signs, minus, minus 2U. Okay, so there, there's our situation set up. Now we've got to find what this is. So we can first, we can cancel the M because M is common factor of both sides. So this side we have 4U equals 3 times VQ plus 2U. Okay, now we can um, expand that. We have 4U equals 3 times VQ 
plus 3 times 2, which is 6u. Subtract 6u from both sides, so we have 4u minus 6u equals 3 times vq. So negative 2u equals 3. You can make that a bit neater. Equals 3 times vq. So we can say the velocity of q is equal to minus 2 thirds u. All right, now, we're asked to, to write down the speed, or find the speed of q after the collision. So we don't leave it as a negative value. We say the speed of q after the collision is 2 thirds u. We don't give it a sign because we're looking for the magnitude. We don't even give it a sign when we are talking about the velocity. We talk about its magnitude and its direction, which in fact they've asked us about in part b, the direction of motion of q immediately after the collision. Now what we don't do, which many students do, they'll say, oh, q is moving to the left. q is moving to the left. You don't say left or right because we are arbitrarily decided that the right is positive. We drew Q over here. We could have drawn Q over there. All right? So the, all those things are, are things that we weren't told to do. And, we, you know, we did that for us, in, of course, to help solve the problem. So we don't write down left or right. We, we talk about the direction of Q, um, comparing it to how it was moving before the collision. Now, it was moving um, in the same direction before the collision, negative direction we have here, as it is after the collision. It just slowed down. So we should describe its direction as... Okay, the, its direction is unchanged. Its direction is unchanged. It means it's going in the same direction, okay, um, as compared to before the collision. Its direction is unchanged, but of course, um, its speed is reduced. Okay, so it's just slowed, that, slowed it down. The collision slowed it down. Okay, so its direction is unchanged as compared to before the collision. Don't say left or right. That's a very, very important point that many students, they do uh, miss out on and they lose marks for it. You lose a mark for it. So it's very important for you to, be, to, to take care of that particular um, situation and not right, left or right, but right compared to how it was moving before the collision. All right, so that concludes question number one from this June 2022 paper for Mechanics, M1. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. You can click on the link there to take you to the playlist for that. The link in this area will take you to questions to do with the momentum and impulse from M1 papers. And um, you can click on this link here to take you uh, to subscribe if you haven't done so already to the channel. Um, in the description of the video, you'll find links to the to index kind of documents which will help you navigate through my material for different units of A-level, AS and also IGCSE. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon.